What's up guys, it's Sam, and in this video, I'm gonna teach you how to stop people pleasing. I know this is an epidemic and everyone is doing this and it's overwhelming and it's exhausting and you feel like crap at the end of the day. And so in this video, I'm going to walk you through, first of all, why we people please, and also tips and solutions to stop people pleasing so you can finally take back your power. And at the end of this video, I'm gonna be sharing you my one ninja strategy to make this practice consistent every single day. So be sure to stay to the end of the video. If you truly wanna end the battle with food in your body and finally just feel like yourself again, be sure to subscribe to the channel and hit the bell. I release videos every single Thursday based on content that you guys ask me for. So if you want to stay up to date on all the cool things happening over here, be sure to subscribe. So who am I? I'm Samantha and I'm the founder of Hungry for Happiness and I've helped thousands of women and men around the world and the battle they have to food and their body. And so in this video, I'll be showing you how to stop people pleasing. So let's look at what people pleasing actually is. It's valuing someone else's experience over yourself. It's saying yes when you mean no and saying no when you mean yes. And so what we have to understand is that is because of a core belief of I'm not good enough. And so if we have a core belief of I'm not good enough, we are going to be hustling for love. We're going to be trying to get love because we're denying the fact that we actually are love. So we're trying to hustle and do the things that we think others want us to do because we want to be love. And so first and foremost, we need to understand that that belief is there and we need to shift the belief. So that's the first thing. And so if the belief is I'm not good enough or I'm not worthy or I'm not deserving, whatever it is, I want you to spend some time and think about what that core belief is for you. And rather than just saying the opposite right away, because our brain is going to be like, mm, that's not true because I've been believing this for my entire life use a little trick called I'm in the process of. And so if you if you realize that the core belief is I'm not worthy, therefore you're trying to get love by people pleasing, understand that you can say I'm in the process of totally feeling my worth. And so rather than shifting from one belief automatically to the other one, really use that I'm in the process of statement to begin to slowly shift these beliefs. And I want you to know this doesn't happen overnight. And so this is a process of you being consistent with always monitoring when that core belief comes up. And so the second thing, value yourself. Realize that you are valuable. Your time is valuable. Your love is valuable. Who you are is valuable. And that needs to be protected. Your vibe needs to be protected. And so when you're constantly like giving yourself away and using every last ounce of your energy and love, you got nothing for yourself at the end of the day. And here's the thing, we need to fill ourselves up so we're giving from a place of abundance. We're not giving from a place of scarce and lack. When we give from a place of scarce and lack, we, re we resent the people that we're actually doing things for. And so it's a totally opposite thing. So value yourself, give to yourself first, protect your own experience first and foremost, and then give from a place of overflow, not from a place of scarcity and lack. And so how do we do that? Really saying no when we mean no and saying yes when we mean yes. And so it's really about checking in with ourselves. If someone asks you to do something and you're like, I don't wanna do that, just say no. Remember this, no is actually a full sentence. You don't need to give an excuse. You don't need to give a reason. Just say no if it does not feel good for you. So value yourself. The more we value ourselves, the easier it is for us to say no. And the third thing, set boundaries. Figure out what feels good for you. When we have boundaries in place, that creates flow, structure creates flow. So when we communicate our boundaries to people around our time and what we're willing to do, that teaches people how to treat us. If we have loose boundaries and we're kind of not consistent with them and sometimes we say yes and sometimes we say no, people aren't really sure how to treat us. When we're firm in our boundaries and we communicate that from a place of love, you ultimately teach people how to treat you. I remember my mom used to say that to me when I was really young, that every time you say no, you're teaching someone how to treat you. And it's a really, really powerful tool. And so maybe just for today, just say no when you would normally say 
yes and do what feels good for you. Really check in with yourself. When someone asks something from you, just check in and say, how does that feel? Is that a visceral yes in the body or is that a visceral no in the body? And so really understand what that is. I teach this in one of my meditations, um, emotional eating guided meditation. So go check out that video and I walk you through that yes and no feeling. So I wanna know from you, in the comments box below, I want you to write right now on a scale from zero to 10, how much of a people pleaser are you? If you are constantly people pleasing, constantly putting yourself last, never taking time for yourself, that would be a 10. Or if you're really good at setting boundaries, valuing yourself and saying no, you're, that would be more like a zero. So I would love to know from you. And also in addition to that, let me know out of the three things that I share with you, which one is most valuable and what one are you going to implement today? In a minute, I'm gonna show you my one ninja strategy that I use so I stay consistent with people pleasing every single day. But before I do that, I have a little gift for you. I have a downloadable affirmation PDF that I wanna give you. It's affirmations that I use every single day that I use throughout my day. So when I'm feeling the need, like, oh, I need a people please or whatever it is, it's basically like an anti-people pleasing affirmation list. So check it out below and I'll deliver it right to your inbox. Okay, so my ninja strategy for saying no. Every single time we say no to another person, we're actually saying yes to ourselves. So really take a moment and congratulate yourself and honor yourself, appreciate yourself for doing that. That creates this energy of like, oh, I did something for myself. And the more that we celebrate and honor the fact that we did something for ourselves, the better it feels in our body and the more that we want to do it. And so if we say no to someone and we immediately feel guilty, like, oh no, I should be saying yes or whatever it is, it takes the moment away from us. So just take a moment, appreciate and acknowledge yourself for saying no because it is a beautiful step and it's a step in creating connection with your soul. So if you guys like this video, let me know. Give me a like right in the comments. I would love to hear from you. I would love to hear any questions that you may have on the subject. I know I'm a recovering people pleaser for sure. So I totally get where you're coming from and I really do want to help you with this because once we can take back our power and we can really own our truth, life transforms. So I'm so excited to support you with this. If you need any more help on this, just ask me in the comments below. I hang out down there a lot. So I'll be there to answer your questions and I'll see you guys next Thursday. Bye for now.